Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Oh, it's time for our asshole of the week. And this week, it goes to Big Bag of Self Promoting Crap Ed Schultz. Self declared number one progressive voice on talk radio and MSNBC Toady. Big Eddie said on a show last week that he thinks and feels that murder is just fine when we suspect somebody of a crime, that due process means nothing when the president wants somebody dead, and that it's fine with him as long as it's a popular thing to do. Pro progressive ideology, Ed? I don't think so. Truth is, Ed Schultz is not a liberal progressive at all. He's a Republican turned Democrat when he could get a talk show and a book deal for doing so. Stealing the Rush Limbaugh format and using Limbaugh tactics to mislead listeners, Ed Schultz is more of a snake oil salesman than a liberal. You need a bagel slicer? You want to buy gold? You want to, how about a gas ad additive that doesn't work? Well, you can get them all by seeing Big Ed. Ed Schultz says he's middle America, that he's a blue collar man and has to shower after work just like the real people who actually produce things here in America. At the same time, he charges for his town hall meetings and showing up to take credit for the Washington Workers Rally in Washington last year was typical Big Eddie. After pulling it up in his black limo SUV caravan and hurriedly removing his suit coat and rolling up his sleeves before anybody could see him, this after asking his listeners to march with him to Washington. No march ever took place, but Big Eddie took credit for the rally. Actually, he was there less than an hour, I believe. He lies. Big Eddie is a businessman, period. He will say and do anything to rich himself and grow his corporations, when he will use any topic or any subject to enrich himself and those around him. Big Eddie claims daily that his show is from the heartland, but actually Big Eddie spends most of his time in New York City. Owning a home in the Midwest doesn't make you a heartland, Mr. Ed. But don't claim the high ground of the progressive movement and use your big mouth talk show to condone murder. For that, you, Big Ed, Big Ed Fake Schultz, our Worldwide Hippies Castle of the Week. Sherry is a poet at heart. Her love for peace and politics and her gift of expression have made her a well-loved addition to the Worldwide Hippies team. Her eclectic spirit fuels every article. Sherry says, it's time for us again to flash the peace sign and mobilize. Oh, it's time for our asshole of the week. And this week, it's Chucky e. Schumer, old school corrupt senator from New York. Senator Charles E. Schumer wants an Air Force unmanned drone program free from bureaucratic snags so that its aircraft can fly North Country skies this summer opening the door to a 24-7 monitoring of U.S. citizens from the skies. Besides causing more civilian deaths and collateral damage when used, these drones perform a wide variety of functions. Some of these functions are in the form of remote sensing, that is, electromagnetic spectrum sensors, biological sensors, chemical sensors, as well as radar, infrared, and secret can't-tell-y'all stuff. It is expected that GW, or I mean President Obama, is likely to sign into law that bill that will bring the unmanned aerial vehicles, the drones, into general airspace, crisscrossing the country in company with passenger planes and other human-carrying aircraft. The pushback on this was not concerning any Big Brother issues, but a technical problem dealing with radio control frequencies needed to be dedicated just to these drones. But what makes this return of Chucky stink so bad is that Schumer is saying that the drone program must go forward because it will keep jobs for the New York Air National Guard's 174th Fighter Wing based at Hancock Field in Syracuse. 25 employees will commute to Fort Drum when the drones fly. Currently, the program is used for killing people in other countries right now from Syracuse. These high-tech drones are the wave of the future, protecting our brave men and women serving abroad, as well as providing us with an effective way to aggressively pursue terrorists who wish to do us harm, said Mr. Schumer. And we need the jobs. Well, I say bullshit, Chucky.
The truth is, Chucky Schumer is making sure that the biggest donors to his campaigns will get the multi-million dollar contracts. Lockheed Martin was one of Chucky's top campaign con contributors in the 2010 elections. I guess the job he's really saving are the CEOs and his own. So, for using the unemployed as a tool to pay back his masters, Chuck Schumer, Democrat senator, warmonger, and corporate representative from New York, is Worldwide Hippies Asshole of the Week. Well, I hear it's time for our Asshole of the Week. This week, it's Republican Governor Paul LePage from Maine. Now, most progressives know what an ass this guy is already. He took down images and changed names on government property that were related to union struggles over the past 200 years. But, no pun intended, he is now pushing a bill sponsored by Republican Senator Deborah Cruella Plowman of Hampton. That would bring child labor laws under attack. So, if Republicans get their way, if you are a kid in Maine, you will be privileged to receive not $7.50 an hour anymore, but $5.25 an hour. Also, yeah. Their plan is to work the little bastards longer for less pay and get them used to it. Governor, you put a stink on our democracy, and your leadership in Maine was bought and paid for, and it does allow you to do whatever you want to the decor of your house of prostitution. But, and this time the pun is intended, for trying to push child labor laws a giant step backwards, you, Republican Governor Paul LePage, are worldwide hippies, asshole of the year. Now here's time for our Asshole of the Week. This week, it's Janet Napolitano. Never missing a chance to keep up the scare, she went on a media blitz last week. Her target was sports fans this time. Encouraging American sports fans to watch each other during basketball games this month and report suspicious activities to authorities. Here's what she had to say. Hi, I'm Janet Napolitano, Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. Homeland Security is a team effort, and it starts with individuals and communities around our country. That's why the NCAA is partnering with DHS to help keep our communities safe. If you see something suspicious on your way into the arena or at the game, say something to local authorities to make it right. We all have a role to play. Report suspicious activity to local law enforcement. Thank you for doing your part to help keep our communities safe and enjoy the game. Yes, Big Sister's face is popping up all over from checkout lines in Walmart, mainstream corporate media outlets, and public announcements. The real message from this purveyor of hate is watch each other, not us, the U.S. government. This propaganda whore puts a, pulls in a hefty check for her subversive work, and she seems to truly enjoy her role as the Goebbels of America. And for that, she is our Asshole of the Week. And that's our news for this week. I want to thank everyone who has commented on the site and invite others to check out our site. That's WorldWideHippies.com, and we will see you next Monday.